Holy. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this stuff, right? Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome back to another reaction video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna react to something a little bit deeper and darker. Uh, not just ghosts on uh, code on camera where we have to analyze what happened. I uh, thought uh, it might be fun to go for some possessions, right? Uh, as a fair warning for everyone, if you are sensitive to this kind of stuff, maybe you should watch this video. <laughs> you know, maybe you should go and watch some uh, something else, some cartoons or whatever. Uh, because there's gonna be a bunch of, uh, probably, I hope, some uh, very strong images. You know, and not a lot of people can deal with that. Uh, and also, before we go to the videos, I have a little story that I'm gonna say. Uh, that something that it's connected to this uh, video and it happened to me when I was a kid. So I want to take this moment and talk about it for a, for a little bit. It's a short story. The memory of that event, it's a little bit foggy because I was uh, really young. I was probably six or seven years old. Uh, but I'm gonna try to share whatever I know and I remember with you guys. And then we're gonna watch this video, which is called Five Possessed People and Exorcism Caught on Tape. So, I haven't watched the video, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but, you know, I'm expecting some good stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to become members of my channel, just press the join button. And without further ado, let's move to the video. Alright, so, a little bit of coffee. Alright guys, so, uh, let's, uh, let me share with you guys uh, a little bit of my story. I'm originally from Romania. I grew up there in a small city in the south of Romania and when I was a kid I used to spend most of my summers together with my brother and my cousins in, uh, with my grandparents from my father's side in a small village next to the city where I grew up and you know back then we didn't have like technology there was no TV no games no PC no nothing uh, all we did uh, all day was just swim in the river, catch fishes, you know, go into the woods and eat fruits and uh, craft uh, bows and arrows to protect ourselves, you know, and wooden swords and stuff like that. <laughs> so that was pretty much my childhood. But every Sunday, my grandparents who were religious people. Uh, they would take us kids in, uh, in church to, you know, to listen to the priest talking or whatever we were doing there. <laughs> Even though we kids, we didn't want to go there. but. I remember this particular uh, event that happened. It was a Sunday, obviously, in the morning. We were in the church. And I remember uh, hearing a lady screaming, like really, really loud in the back of the church. Uh, she was sitting, I think, on the same aisle where we were sitting. We were just a couple of seats in front of her. And I, again, I remember her screaming like a crazy person. She got up from the those benches or chairs i can't remember what we had there and she started charging towards the priest and the priest and together with some villagers and i think um, they jumped on her if i remember correctly they were trying to hold her down she was moving her arms and legs everywhere screaming and yelling uh, at the same time what everything was happening my grandfather he took all of us kids uh, and my grandmother out of the church and um I don't know exactly what happened there. I never asked. <laughs> I never asked what happened. I never asked my grandparents about it because, you know, I was a kid. I didn't really thought about it. And it was only years after uh, that event happened that I kept thinking, like, what exactly happened there? Like, <laughs> was the lady crazy? Did she had an issue with the priest, um, or she was actually possessed? I don't know. <laughs> I can't actually find. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I will never be able to find the, the truth about that because my grandparents are dead now, so I can't ask them what happened back then. Um, I don't even know if the lady is still al alive. I'm in UK. So obviously, like I said, I don't, I don't know what happened there. I have no idea. You know, it's uh, in my opinion, either the lady, she was, I don't know, drunk or just crazy, or I don't know if she was possessed. I don't think so. It's just the fact that it happened in the church, you know, <laughs> and uh, the priests were trying to, and the villagers, they were trying to hold her down and she was going crazy. I, again, I don't know what happened. Okay. But I, when I was uh, thinking about making this video, I remembered this, uh, this fact, this event from my childhood. And uh, I thought I'm going to share it with you guys. <laughs> Let me know. What do you think? Like what happened there? Maybe she was just drunk, you know, 
on a Sunday morning. I mean, in Romania, people they used to, the, especially in the villages, they like to drink in the morning. You know, that's their uh, breakfast. <laughs> you know, so who knows? Maybe that's uh, that what happened. Maybe she was just a little bit drunk. Uh, or uh, and she had a problem with the priest i don't know maybe the priest <laughs> cheated on her i don't know what happened there okay i'm just uh, i just wanted to share this event with you guys anyway that was my story <laughs> hope you guys enjoy it and uh now let's move to the real deal right uh we're gonna watch these five uh, possessed people and we're gonna try to find out an explanation and see maybe we catch something that is not shown in the video or maybe it is shown in the video but nobody's talking about it i don't know uh, again, I haven't watched the video, so I have no idea what's going on here. But we're going to do it together and hopefully uh, we can debunk all these possessions and see maybe we find a, a reasonable explanation. All right, so I made myself a little bit smaller here on the camera so you guys can see everything, <laughs> obviously. All right, unexplained mysteries. All right, that's true. So again, guys, if you have any issue, oh my God, I stopped on this uh, <laughs> this picture here. If you guys have any issues with this kind of stuff and you are a bit more sensitive, uh, please don't watch it, right? <laughs> These videos are believed to show cases of demonic possession. While some believe evil forces can take over the body, others think that demonic possession is simply a myth and comes down to mental illness. So let's count down five exorcisms caught on tape. Okay. Number 5. This video shows an exorcism in a church. The footage was shot through a keyhole, and it's even said that the church... Through a keyhole? Alright, so uh, obviously it was like closed doors, maybe they didn't want people to go inside and, and see what happens. Alright, uh, let's see what's going on. The church came forward explaining that the exorcism was real, but they didn't give any further details. Okay, uh, you see, so now that uh, when I hear this woman screaming, it kind of reminds me of that lady from my story. It was pretty much the same scream, like she wasn't yelling or anything. She was just screaming like from all her lungs and voice and everything, you know. I'm not sure if she's uh, speaking in her in her mother language. Maybe she's this video is uh, recorded in some uh, other country, or she's speaking in a different tongue because you know she's like possessed. <laughs> so, she's speaking like some Latin or something. But I can't I can't really uh, figure out what uh, what she's saying there. The priest is singing, so maybe he's trying to do some uh, an exorcism. I'm I'm not sure why he would sing. Usually, in uh, I mean, obviously, I, I'm I'm getting a little bit, you know, influenced by uh, horror movies, where the priest is there with a book and yelling, uh, "Get out of this body, name of God!" and uh, Jesus compels you, you know, like the exorcist movie. So uh, hearing the priest singing instead of just praying and saying stuff it's a bit weird but maybe that's the way to do it i don't know <laughs> what the fuck was that was this guy uh, recording that wait what was that <laughs> ah he's laughing oh, okay why is he laughing is it because it's fake? I I don't see any way uh, how uh, you manage to get inside a church and um, you know make a fake video and pretend like uh, I mean the priest he would never get involved in such uh, in such thing unless he's a crazy person you know so unless this guy finds it finds it uh, amusing. Or it's a hoax, a prank? I, I don't know, because he's laughing, so, <laughs> you know. 
And he was burping earlier. That's that was the sound. Wait, was the lady uh, laughing or it was the people inside the church laughing? I don't think this video is surreal. Because I, I heard, I mean, unless she, she was laughing, but she was... No, wait. I don't know, because she stopped screaming and laughing there. So I thought maybe uh, she was screaming and at the same time someone was laughing. So in that case... It would be the people there that uh, they were laughing but she stopped screaming and then the laugh came out so maybe it was her laughing i don't know that was a that was a weird one Again, the, the the guy recording it, he he was quite amused by it, which makes me think either he he thought it was just funny and uh, he didn't care about what's going on in reality in there. Let me put my lights a bit. Okay, or maybe he was just involved in the whole thing and this is just a hoax and a fake video. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean. Again, if it happens in a house, it's a little bit more easy to uh, to fake, you know, everyone can get involved. But if you do it in a church, unless the priest is, I don't know, a friend of yours or something like that, and he agrees to uh, do this in a priest and make a hoax a video. Other than that, I don't see how can anyone fake a video in a, in a church. Uh, at the same time, the person in the video uh, who was possessed, maybe she wasn't actually possessed, maybe she was just crazy. And uh, people think she's possessed, you know, uh, that might be an explanation. But anyway, kind of weird video. <laughs> it creeps me out a little bit, but we're going to move to number four. Let's see what this one is about. Number four. This video shows several men restraining a possessed girl. She can be seen violently thrashing her arms and legs. What follows is an intense and highly disturbing ritual, most likely an exorcism. <laughs> Because you are dead. An exorcism. So maybe she's. What did what did she ask to get this answer? <laughs> That's my question. Because you are dead. Because you are dead. And the baby. What baby? So I'm gonna read what uh, what he says here because I uh, you guys might not see it and I don't. I don't want to move my camera every time, so... Follows is an intense... Because you are dead, okay. And the baby. What baby? You were pregnant. You were pregnant when they took away your children. He heard me, he heard me, he heard me. What well, are those doctors? They look like doctors. Yeah, those people, they look like doctors. They have this, uh, these suits that look like doctors. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, again, unless you uh, have some friends who are doctors and you, or um, or maybe you ha you just have the cost, that can be an uh, an option. Let's watch the whole video and see what's going on, and then we're gonna talk about it. Una, 
Holy shit. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this stuff, right? Obviously, everything can be fake. Okay, so I'm not saying what we saw here was real. But if it's fake, these people really go the extra mile to make it look real, you know? I mean, all those uh, gentlemen in the video, they had like these suits with uh, that looked like from, I don't know, like um, ambulance or hospital or something like that. And the girl, she was really, she was acting really weird and everything was weird. But again, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this video. <laughs> All right. It's a good one. Eh? I uh, I was a bit reluctant to go into this kind of stuff because, you know, uh, you never know what to expect from these videos with possessions. But so far, both videos they look <laughs> kind of decent but anyway let's move on number three let's see maybe uh, this one it's even better than the first two <laughs> number three not much is known about this video a man can be seen performing an exorcism while the woman can be heard hissing and grunting <laughs> all right Dude, <laughs> she's hissing like a snake, like, man. <laughs> My dude here in the corner, he looked more possessed than the lady with this white eyes. <laughs> I mean, I know it's just the camera, but it looks more possessed than her. Is this guy laughing? This guy here, next to her. It looks like he's laughing. Is this a fake? I don't know, it looks fake to me. Oh, maybe he wasn't laughing. Maybe it was just the camera, the position. It looked like he was laughing because, you know, when you're in a situ situation like this, you, <laughs> I don't think you have the time to laugh, you know? Okay, why none of these videos shows the whole thing? Like, what happened? Did they manage to <laughs> to exorcise her? Is the demon still there? Like, what happened? I, w I would like to see the whole video to see what happened there, you know? Maybe for the next one, I'm gonna try to look not for this kind of compilations, but for a full video with explanation and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do for the next one, because otherwise, I don't know what's, uh, what happened. I don't know. If, did they get all these videos so far? Uh, they only uh, show you like uh, part of the exorcism, but not the end of it, right? Because that's what you want to know. If uh, the person in the video is possessed, if she's been exorcised or not, like what's going on? Anyway, <laughs> uh, again, it can be faked. Okay. I'm not saying these videos are real. Uh, it just can be like uh, normal people who are a bit maybe crazy and they want to uh, look for attention or maybe it's just fake people who are looking for attention. So all of them, not just the person in the video or maybe they just have a mental issue. I don't know. Number two, guys. Number two. This footage shows a priest performing an exorcism. At one point in the video, the girl can be seen pushing the priest to the ground. Okay. Help me. 
All right, this is an Italian, okay? So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. So uh, the lady is uh, telling him there's no translation for that one, but the lady is telling him like, uh, "Go get the water, go get the water," and the priest is saying, "I didn't think about it." How you wouldn't think about it? You're a priest, for God's sake. <laughs> you should know exactly what to do in this situation. <laughs> She's swearing to him. <laughs> Man, she is tied to the chair. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what to say about these videos, guys, okay? Uh, unlike the ghost one where uh, you know you look for uh, something happening and then straight away you're like, ah okay, so it's a shadow or maybe it's a when you look at this kind of videos, I I don't know what to say about it. I don't. I have no idea. Let's uh, let's end the video and see what what's going on here. Yeah, look, she's really tight to that chair. Now again, let's pretend for a second that it's a fake one, right? Or not pretend. Let's say it's a fake one. Man, these guys, they, they really go the extra mile for to make it look real, right? Like they even tie her to the to the chair, all the screams, all that shit, plus the priest. I mean, we don't know if it's a real priest or not. Um, it might be someone dressed like a priest. You never know. Uh, but the video looks quite old, first of all, unless the camera is shit. And um, another thing is that I mean, nowadays, yeah, you can, you want to fake a lot of videos uh, for more attention on YouTube and stuff like that. But if this one is an old videotape, like, uh, I don't know, from the 90s or 2000 or something like that, back then people didn't really care about faking these kind of videos because there was no social media to get uh, attention for, uh, on yourself, right? So it's a little bit... Um, has more sense if the video it's uh, old it has more sense that the, the girl is possessed and it's not a fake at the same time maybe the girl she's just uh, again maybe she's just crazy or she's looking for attention from her parents or something like that i i don't know it's it's really weird really weird videos uh let's uh, let's see what else is going on here <laughs> So she's saying she's mine. She's mine. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me move just a little bit. Maybe make my camera smaller so you guys can see what he's saying. All right. Dunque c'è da c'è Ecco la cosa di di la cosa. E da un giorno viene una forza particolare. Dunque c'è da c'è ho notato questo. A volte il demonio eh quando siccome è l'esorcismo sono come fosse uno bastonate picchia il demonio, no? E mette la cosa nella per la mano, mi brucia Oh, 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 mi sono accorto di questo il demonio è furbo e cerca di parlare per, per, per riposarsi avete visto mai i pugili i pugili quando si danno i pugni a un certo punto si abbracciano si riposano si riposano respirano un attimo il demonio fa la stessa tattica mm -hmm. ok so um, for those of you who may be uh, are just watching this video in the background and you don't know what he's talking about. So 
basically he's saying that whenever you're uh, an, an exorcist is doing this uh, ritual um he's trying to uh, put the, his hands on the on the possessed person you know uh, with words and holy water and the bible and stuff like that and uh, the devil he's trying to talk back you know so he's trying to confuse the priest maybe to make him stop from uh, doing what he's doing in order to take a breath you know to uh, relax a little bit uh that's kind of what he's saying here right that's what that's my understanding of what he's trying to say dunque parla e io invece non non mi sono da diretta continuare il sorcismo in modo che non c'ha tregua sono botte 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 ave maria piena di grazie all right let's uh, put my camera back down con <laughs> te Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, eh, Mourinho, Mourinho, Ave Maria, piena di grazia, Signore è con te, tu sei benedetta fra le donne, benedetta fra le donne. All right, that was the, <laughs> man, that was number two. If number two was that, let's say good, I, I kind of don't want to watch the number one anymore because who knows what the hell is this one. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm gonna give my final thoughts at the end of this video, like completely for all these videos. But uh, let's uh, go and watch this number one as well, because so far, I don't know, I've been creeped a little bit by these videos. Let's see what uh, what's going on here. Number one. Okay. This footage shows the possession of a man named Maurice. Another, uh, again, another video that looks uh, quite old. So it's like it's been filmed somewhere in the 90s or something like that. Um... Unless, again, maybe the camera is just shit. But let's see what's, what happens here with Maurice. What's creepy is during the exorcism, it looks like the man's face changes shape. Okay. This is called the Ritual Romano, which is... Now, this is a VHS tape, okay? That one, it's 100% a VHS tape. It's really hard to fake that kind of video nowadays to make it look like that. Unless you're a professional, you know what you're doing. And I think this is part of like... A, a TV show or something? The ultimate in the rites of exorcism where Catholicism is concerned. He prepared himself. Uh, he went to the home. And the exorcism will be the first ever recorded on videotape. A tape that shows Maurice's face changing from this to this as the bishop chanted to cast out the devil. Nancy Theria was present throughout the exorcism. When they were doing the, the exorcism on him, when he turned his head, I saw his face change. I saw the satanic look on his face. As the video shows, far more was about to change on Therios. He, I mean, I don't see exactly what they're talking about in terms of changing his face. However, I can see this uh, right eye, his right eye. It looks like the, this eye, it's a bit weird. His face and its expression. As Bishop McKenna chants, Therio's skin seems to bubble. A deep crack has opened on his forehead. What? Wait, 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 let's go back. What's Therio. It? As the video shows, far more was about to change on Therio's face and its expression. As Bishop McKenna chants, Therio's skin seems to bubble. A deep crack has opened on his forehead. Maurice, do you feel anything inside you? I see characteristics of his face look like they're becoming all crinkled, like burnt. There's a split on the left side of the head, which widens, opens up. Um, the eyes, he blinks three times, which we consider an insult to the Trinity. The eyes look like a serpent. How many are you? All of a sudden, his eyes rolled up in his head. And he, his head went down, he collapsed, and within a few minutes, he came to, the first thing he asked for was Nancy, his wife. This exorcism... Okay, um, wait, I, I want to go back a little bit to this video, because this one, it's a... Uh, um, I didn't really catch on of, of what's going on here, so I want to go back to a moment. Let's see this one. Enchanted to catch... So he's, they say this is a crack on his forehead, right? Or is this one? They say his skin is bubbling. I'm not sure what happened here, like... On his face. As the video shows, 
far more was about to change on Theriot's face than its expression. As Bishop McKenna chanted... Now, I think this is the crack that they're uh, talking about. Uh, so basically, his skin cracked uh, during this. And this part here... But the thing is, you there is no um, picture of him before this one, right? Before the exorcism. So we don't really know if this is just his skin that looks like this. So there was no by bubbling or cracks or anything. Or if it's real. I'm, I'm not really Thanks. sure. All right. Um, man. I think the second video, the one with the Italian priest and the girl, that was uh, that one looked a little bit better. This one, I'm, I mean, again, this is an old video, it, or at least it looks like an old video. Maybe it's part of like a, I don't know, history channel show uh, where they talk about exorcism and stuff like that. Um, which I'm not saying they, they will never go for a bullshit video, but, uh, you know, maybe they don't even know if it's uh, real or not. Um, this uh, last uh, video, it's a bit, um, I don't know, there's nothing, they, they don't really show anything, right? Except for his face that they say it was bubbling and there was a crack. Maybe I should go and watch some of this, like, actual footage and uh, watch the whole things, right? Because this, uh, these uh, compilations, they're nice and creep and everything, but I think it's better if I go and watch, like, a full video. For example, I know one for sure that I'm gonna, I really want to watch. Uh, as a documentary and it's about uh, a lady i i can't remember her name but i know from um i know that she is uh, this girl i think she's from germany annelise something i think it's her name uh, and she's the inspiration behind the movie um the exorcist of family rose which is a really nice movie uh, in my opinion it's uh, probably on top five as one of the best horror movies so I want to watch that video and see what exactly happened with her and how true the movie stayed with the video, with the original one. I mean, the case has been documented quite a lot. There are some uh, videos and pictures of uh, this uh, woman, Annelise, and uh, they used some of that information and uh, documentation to make the movie The Exorcist of uh, Emily Rose. So I think that's gonna be the next one that I'm gonna react, obviously maybe i'm not i'm not saying the next video is gonna be that one probably the next one will be about ghosts or other things or who knows maybe some games games uh if you guys want to see me playing some horror games i do have a bunch of them i mean i always play horror games uh but i've noticed that a lot of people they prefer to watch this kind of videos rather than uh, horror games you know <laughs> so maybe i will keep making some of these uh videos for a while or i can uh, play some horror games we'll see it depends on uh, on what you guys think. So let me know in the comment sections, or uh, if you, what you want to see. Maybe you want to see more of this stuff, or you want to see some uh, horror games where I'm playing and screaming and yelling like a little girl. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, guys. So uh, final thoughts about this uh, possession videos and compilation. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some of them. I mean, they all look really creep. Okay, I'm not saying. Um, they did they looked bad or fake or any of that but again we don't see the story behind it we don't see what happened in the beginning we don't see what happened in the end if the people in these videos have been exorcised or not so i can't give a, a real thought and say again like unlike like ghost movie uh, videos where we are looking for specific things that can happen like a face in a wall or uh, i don't know a light moving or some voices and we can say okay that was faked you know uh with this kind of videos um they are a bit more i'm not saying hard to fake but uh it's not as easy as faking some ghost videos right uh, because uh, again you might want to involve some priests or like the first video it was in a church you know <laughs> and uh, it's not that easy to fake them you know so Again, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, <laughs> put in the comment section what do you think about it? What uh, what are your thoughts? Are these just crazy people? Are these just people who are looking for attention from their family or parents or whatever? Or are these just uh, fake videos? I don't know. So, um, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want to become a member of my channel, just press the join button. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.